I've never tried cocaine or heroin, but I believe the people that tell me that it's a very pleasing, pleasurable feeling. And the problem is that there is never enough. It's an insatiable thing. It's a bottomless pit. And just as it's true of the pleasure of addiction, I believe it's true of all pleasures in the world. There's nothing wrong with having pleasure. I love to put chocolate syrup on my ice cream. Right? I enjoy it. It's a pleasure thing. But my life does not become dependent on pleasure. Because if your life becomes on dependent on pleasure, then as soon as one pleasure is off, over with, then you got to go for the next one. And that becomes like an addiction. And there's never any goal to it. There's never any end to it. So you see, pleasure as a goal in life is essentially an animal trait. Because that's what animals are looking for. Contentment, comfort, isn't that wonderful? Yes. As a goal in life, I think that's an insult. You know, you go into the supermarket and look at the counter where they sell eva evaporated milk. And if you look at carnation milk, it has on the can a little slogan, milk from contented cows. Now, you know, when I first saw that, I started thinking, why should I care whether the cows are content or not? But you see, the manufacturer of that product wants me to buy his product, and he wants, me to tell, wants to tell me that his brand is superior to the others. Why is it superior? Because it comes from the most excellent cows. Why are his cows most excellent? Because they're contented. Well, if contentment is the excellence of a cow, and if all I look for in life is contentment, then I share a golden life with a cow. And I'm not ready to lower myself to that stage. Nothing wrong with being content. But contentment as a goal in life is an animal trait, not a human trait. And if contentment and pleasure becomes the goal in life, then people who experience pain or suffering or difficulties in one way or another can't possible have happiness. But that's not true. We know that there are people who, in spite of many personal distresses, have been able to, been ha have been able to be happy. Because true happiness is beyond contentment. It's beyond comfort and beyond pleasure. What then is true happiness? True happiness is becoming a partner with God and developing ourselves into that which he wanted us to be. A unique human being who exercises the unique human traits of thinking about a goal and purpose in life. Animals can't do that of constantly striving for self-improvement. Animals can't do that. Of getting out of one's shell and being considerate of strangers, of others, and helping them. Animals can't do that. Of being able to make decisions that are morally right, even though it may be uncomfortable to do so. Animals can't do that. The ability to forgive others. Animals can't do that. The ability to search for what is truth. Animals can't do that either. And so if you make a list of what the unique features of a human being are, and seriously make an attempt at fulfilling them, then you become a partner with God in your creation and you become a full human being. However, if we only go as far as using our intellect to help us find more ways in which to have pleasure, 
then we are still functioning at a homo sapiens level, at an animal level, and we are an incomplete person. And a person who is incomplete can't be any happier than a car which is incomplete and has parts of the motors missing. For a car to function properly, all the parts have to be there and all have to, have to be operating properly. And for us to be a complete human being, all the parts of humanity have to be there. 